Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's been a while, hasn't it? I know you guys have been desperately yearning for another video of mine. Yeah, you have it. Um, yeah, so I haven't uploaded for 10 days. Um, this is not how I thought November was going to go. I wasn't planning on not uploading for 10 days. Um, I had a lot of stuff planned this month and it all went down the toilet. So yeah, I got a strike from YouTube and um, I actually did a reaction to this. I uploaded a video on my reaction channel right there. You can go subscribe to that. I've been uploading a few videos here and there on that channel. Um, so let me know if you want to see more of that, more reaction stuff. But if you want to see my original reaction to the strike and me talking about it, you can watch that. It was um, a lot of emotion, mostly anger and frustration and confusion. I still have all three of those emotions right now. I was going to upload that video today on this channel when the strike was over, but I figured, you know what, maybe I should just do a professionally unprofessional video talking about the matter instead of just uploading my reaction to it, which was, eh. I feel like it deserves to be on the reaction channel, and then this one is just more going into depth of it. So here's what happened, okay? One of three community guidelines strikes. Your content was removed due to a violation of our community guidelines. You won't be able to do things like upload, post, or live stream for one week. Now I'm recording this the day before, so it still says I have one day left. As you can see here, I got a warning on June 29th, 2022 on a video called 1100th Video. So, because this was only a warning, I was allowed to upload and live stream and all that, but... I didn't want to talk about this in June because I feel like it might bring more attention to my channel. It might bring YouTube back to my channel and say, you know what, we're going to dig up some more stuff from your past to try and get rid of your channel. It's from 2011. I have absolutely no like recollection of this video. I don't, I, I didn't know what was in it. I didn't even know it was public. I just, I don't know. I can't remember all my videos from 2011 because I had... At the time of the warning, I had over 2,000 videos. And um, if you actually go into Social Blade, you can see that there was a huge dip in views in June. That's because I deleted a crap ton of my old videos because I was worried that YouTube would find something else from 2011. And then they did 128 days later. What was in the video, you may ask? Well, I don't quite remember. I remember I sat on a toilet. I filmed myself putting my pants down, but, 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 okay, but, I didn't show a but, I didn't show anything graphic, I just, I just showed, I don't know how to describe it, it's just like, it's like, the idea of it is, I guess, graphic, but I didn't actually film anything graphic, and I don't know why it endangers a child, I just sat on the toilet and put my pants down, but I also didn't film like anything graphic about that. It's so stupid, okay? It was a really stupid video, um, and honestly, in my opinion, I shouldn't have gotten a warning for that. Back in the day, guys, um, YouTube would just delete a video if they thought it didn't deserve to be on YouTube. But nowadays, if they have to delete a video, they're like, you know what, if we have to delete a video, you deserve a warning, three strikes and you're out. And the only reason why I'm against that in my opinion, is because of the fact that I don't want these videos up. I don't care about bringing them back. This was just a stupid video from 11 years ago, okay? It had like probably 20 views. I think it was private too, so I don't know why YouTube thought it was a good idea to give me a warning for a stupid video from 11 years ago that I have no recollection of. And so that was the warning in June. And um, now I... You'll never believe this. I got another strike on a video from 2011, 11 years ago, on a random video called I Peed Myself. Now, I knew of this video. I knew what it was uh, because it was one of my most viewed videos. It had 3,000 views. Um, but it was such a stupid video. I never thought YouTube would feel like they should delete it. It was nothing. It was literally nothing, okay? Now, the title suggests I'm filming myself peeing myself, but I didn't, I didn't film myself peeing myself. The, the video was basically pranking my grandma, making her think I actually peed myself when I didn't. I just put water on my pants and what am I not, am I not allowed to film pants on YouTube? Like what? 
Am I not allowed to film an article of clothing? Okay? Now in the video, this one was actually less graphic than the 1100th video. And in this video, it was about peeing myself, but I didn't. And at the end, I sat on the toilet and I put my pants down like the other video. But all I did was film the pants going around my feet. It was underwear and pants going around my feet, but there was nothing else. I didn't film anything graphic either. And so that, that leads me to a question. Is the idea of filming an article of clothing around your feet somehow endangering a child? What? Why, why is this dangerous for a child? What? What is a child going to do when they see it? It's just a stupid video. Like, what? I'm just so annoyed because it wasn't even pee, it was, it was fake. It was like... Now there's more to this story, okay? Um, it says, content deleted by this user. By deleting this content, you won't be able to appeal it. But what's funny, what's funny is it says, appeal rejected, 11.06 a.m. So here's what happened, okay? When this happened, a couple days ago on the 4th of November, I really freaked out. I was like, wow, YouTube is just gonna dig up any old thing from my past. So, I decided to delete a lot more of my videos. I decided to delete all my unlisted videos, I decided to delete all my private videos, I decided to delete some of the public ones. Like, I just don't know what's in them. I don't remember every little second of every little video from 2011 and 2012 and 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. It's my fault, I guess, for uploading so many videos, but at the same time, how am I supposed to remember everything from 2011? And the thing is, when I started, I was young, okay? I am 20 years old now. And here's something else, okay, guys? A long time ago, in 2015, uh, YouTube actually deleted another one of my videos called Drinking My Blood. And you guessed it, I didn't actually drink blood. It was Kool-Aid. It was just titled Drinking My Blood, but it wasn't... <sighs> so that, in 2015, it, there was no three strikes, okay? YouTube would just delete a video, but... At the same time, I did get a punishment, and that was not being able to upload videos for more than 15 minutes for six months. That's kind of fair, okay? That's not too bad. It's not too crazy, you know? Some of my videos, it's actually really hard to get more than 15 minutes nowadays, just because, you know, not much, not much going on, you know? But that was another video that was deleted. Um, and another thing, another thing that happened, <laughs> another thing that happened was... Um, making myself bleed, and I put a red sharpie dot on my chin. That was it. That was literally it, and YouTube deleted that one too. Now, I, I don't have evidence of this because it's gone. It's gone forever, so I can't, like, I can't show that I actually had these videos up anymore, but that was two videos, two other videos that YouTube decided to delete, and, um... It's just, I'm getting, I'm getting punished for the stupidest freaking things. There's so much garbage on YouTube that's even worse than what I'm talking about. There's videos of people actually bleeding, and that doesn't get removed, but putting a red dot on my chin gets deleted. And one of the reasons why I actually decided to just upload the reaction video on my reaction channel is because... I was hesitating to even upload this, this video, because I feel like if I upload a video about myself getting a strike, YouTube is going to come to my channel because I'm bringing attention to the idea of getting a strike from YouTube, and YouTube's going to dig up even more random stuff from 2011. Any video from your past can be taking time bombs, okay? YouTube could just add a new policy, and you get punished from 11 years back. None of my newer content is the problem. It's all my older content. YouTube, feel free to delete what you think deserves to be deleted. I don't care about these videos that you deleted. I don't care about the IP'd myself video being deleted, okay? The, the appeal, appealing strikes, apparently doesn't get rid of the strike. It just makes it so that the video actually comes back up. And I learned that, like, on the 4th of November. What I, what I learned is the fact that it's kind of useless because I don't 
actually care about these videos being up. Like, these are stupid videos, okay? I don't care. Delete it, okay? Unless it's like one of my newer videos that I actually put effort in, or one of my vlogs or something like that, then I would actually be like, okay, you know what, I really want to make sure I can get this back up. But the IP myself video, the 1100s video, I don't care about them being deleted. But the problem is, the strike still is there, no matter what. Now another thing I learned is apparently, this expires February 2nd. Now what calmed me a little bit is the fact that once 90 days is gone, the strike is gone. It's only if you get three strikes within 90 days that your, your channel gets removed. I actually calculated this, the date, the number of days between the first warning and the first strike is 128 days. So, I guess I have another 128 days until YouTube finds something else. The thing is, I have so much content that there's probably days worth of content on my channel. I have so much. I don't know what's in every single video. That's why I decided to try and delete a lot of it. But I, I don't know what else is there. That's the problem. And I wish, I wish it was just that YouTube would just delete a video from your past and that's it. I, I don't feel like I deserve these punishments. It's like from 11 years ago. I don't remember this crap. I don't just, I, let me go to Twitter, okay? Let me go to Twitter. I, I tweeted about this and YouTube was like, we're gonna pass this along for another look. It may take a couple days until we have an update, but we'll let you know when we have one. And then three days later they say, what well, update, after careful review, we've confirmed that the video violated our child safety policy. What the frick, man? <laughs> These videos weren't even set to made for kids. Now I get child safety, all right? I get child safety policies, but filming an article of clothing around my feet endangers a child somehow. I get like maybe filming a butthole or my wang, but like I didn't film I, I didn't film anything graphic in any of my videos for the making myself bleed. It wasn't actual blood. Okay, it was a freaking red dot on my chin. Drinking my blood was Kool-Aid. Okay, apparently everything red is not allowed on YouTube. Now the thing about this, okay, after careful review, we've confirmed that the video violated our child safety policy. That was November 7th. The appeal was rejected on the 4th. And I accidentally actually deleted this on the 4th when I went on a spree of deleting my videos. By deleting this content, you won't be able to appeal it. So how did YouTube... How did YouTube go back and look at the video and say, it, and confirm again that it, it went against their child safety when I actually deleted it on the 4th? So what did they, what was the new information on the 7th that, that confirmed that it go, went against their child safety? Did they download it? Is that how it works? I, I deleted it. It's not on YouTube anymore. No one can see it. No children can see it. It's gone. Because it says here, if you delete it, you won't be able to appeal it. And that means YouTube can't look at it. But apparently they did on the 7th. I'm really just confused on what the heck is going on with all these weird rules. But yeah, this is all the things going through my mind right now. And I just don't know... What, what could I have done different? I don't remember these videos. And... Even if I did, I never thought that they would deserve to be deleted. It was just stupid videos. I didn't film anything graphic. That's why I haven't uploaded for 10 days. This is not how I thought November was going to go because I had a lot of things planned. I'm already starting to lose my voice. God, I can't talk for 18 minutes? Yikes. I need to talk more. I need to commentate more. But, um, yeah, that's what's going on. That's why I got a strike for some reason. And, um... It just bothers me because apparently any of your old videos can be ticking time bombs that may go off like that. YouTube will find it and be like, oh, he picked his nose, strike two, you're out. Or no, strike three, you're out. Strike two, you're almost out. I tried. I actually tried deleting as many videos as possible in June so that this wouldn't happen again. And YouTube still found something. You know, obviously, it's a new policy. It was allowed to be up for 11 years. YouTube was okay with it for being up for 11 years, okay? Just think about that for a moment. 11 years. Uh, more than a decade. 
YouTube was okay with this being online. And for some reason, they found a reason to get rid of it in 2022 instead of 2021 or 2020 or 2019 or 2018 or 2017 or 2016 or 2015 or 2014 or 2013 or 2012 or even 2011. But all those years, these policies weren't in place, which means YouTube could just create any old policy and you'll get punished for content you made before the policy. And I think that's just ridiculous. Unless it was actual graphic content, but I didn't upload graphic content. I didn't film my butt. I didn't film my balls. I didn't film anything. I just filmed pants around my feet. And it wasn't even real pee. It was freaking water on my jeans. I hope this doesn't happen again or else I'm gonna get really frustrated. I mean, YouTube means a lot to me. My channel means a lot. I've been doing this for 11 years. And what's funny is my strike is over on 11-11. And these videos are from 2011. 2011 is freaking cursed apparently for me. But anyways guys, um, I have a few videos filmed already to be released. Let me know in the comments what you think about this, if I'm in the wrong or if I'm in the right or neither. It's like, it doesn't matter if I'm careful right now, okay? It just matters if I find the right, like, video. Like, I, I have to delete all, all the possible videos that may get me striked. I don't know... What might get me striked? I never thought that video would get me striked. It, it was not even about peeing myself. I, I didn't film anything graphic, so I didn't think it would endanger a child. Anyways, guys, subscribe to Brand News channel. This would be funny if this is your first video watching of mine. But if you want to see me get a haircut, make sure to subscribe because if I hit 10,000 subscribers, I will get a haircut. So share my channel with all your friends, with all your family members, with all the hobos on the street. And yeah. More videos to come soon. See you later. Peace.